Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Anchor's latest magnetic phone case with built-in kickstand for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Let's find out more. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I'm a fan of MagSafe. I use it quite a lot, whether it's for charging conveniently on my desk or bedside table, or to use with some accessories like a power bank like that that just connects magnetically to the phone or sometimes with a wallet. Point is, I use MagSafe a lot, and this is why I look for cases that are MagSafe compatible. But at the same time, I really appreciate the presence of a kickstand. I'm usually traveling a lot, I'm on the move a lot, and um, I watch content on my phone sometimes. So I appreciate the ability to have a kickstand on my phone so I can watch videos. Sometimes I use it for FaceTime calls as well. And instead of always carrying the phone, I just place it on a table. So I really like having a kickstand, and this is why I've been using in the past few years cases that are both MagSafe compatible, but also have a built-in kickstand. In the previous years, I did a few reviews on the Case Coup cases, which I have over here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But this year, Anchor joined the game with their own case that is MagSafe compatible but also has a built-in kickstand. Now, there is one thing that is different with the Anchor case, and that is that the ring rotates 360 degrees, which is both an advantage and a disadvantage. Let's start with the good part. So the fact that the ring can rotate 360 degrees means you get much more viewing angles, especially in landscape mode versus the case coup, for example, where the ring is fixed. In portrait mode, you can adjust the angle, of course, which is fine in landscape mode because you're placing it like this. Even if you move the ring, the angle is not going to be just a lot. And to be honest, I have found the angle to be a bit too steep in uh, landscape mode. And this is where the rotating wing shines. So when it's fixed in position, you can only adjust it this way. But when it's rotating, you can rotate it that way and then adjust the angle to have a wide range of different angles to suit your needs. So I really do like that in landscape mode. I find I have much more comfortable viewing angles than I did with the case coup, for example, where the ring was fixed. Another advantage with a rotating ring is that you can rotate it sideways and just hold the phone like that. You could do it when it's in this position, but it's not very comfortable. It's much more comfortable if the ring is over there or even over here, and you can hold it, especially if you're laying in bed, for example, and you don't want to break your nose. Now, that is the good part of the rotating ring. The bad part is that it rotates. So if you're using it with accessories, these accessories are going to rotate, whether it's a power bank like this, or if you're using it uh, with a wallet, it's going to rotate sometimes as you put it in your pocket. It's not a deal breaker, but it's a bit annoying. It would have been nice if there was some sort of locking mechanism on the ring where you can press something to lock the ring in place and rotate it at will, but it's not the case. So that's the slight disadvantage. But I, I do think that you gain much more than you lose with having a rotating ring. Now, the case itself is, I think, very well made. There's very precise cutouts. The buttons press really nice. On the other side with the 16 Pro Max, you do have the camera button. And the case doesn't have a button over that, but rather a cutout makes it just a little bit harder to press because your finger has to travel a larger distance to press it but it's not uncomfortable and, and you will get used to it my issue with the button is the placement i think it's too far in whereas i would have rather have it here but that's another story altogether it does have a raised lip to protect the screen and also a camera guard to protect the camera and it looks really nice this is the transparent version it looks very nice the only issue i have is the ring seems a little bit flimsy, especially when you press it like that versus let's say what I have been using the last two years, the case coup cases, which seem to have a much more solid construction. It feels more premium, more solid and less likely to break off versus the anchor, which seems too flimsy and I'm not too sure about the longevity and the durability of this, but until other brands make rotating rings, I think I'm going to stick to the Anchor case on my 16 Pro Max. That's it for me. I'll put the link in the description to the Anchor iPhone case. This is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase it, I would appreciate if you would purchase it through my link. I may earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. This will greatly help support the channel. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.